Why? And God said one word to me, rage. And I asked the question, well, Lord, would you please take that rage out? See, what we deal with in life causes friction, causes cuts. We get gouged in our emotions, in our minds, and we don't realize it really has a negative effect on future events in our lives and how we respond. Some people we don't have tolerance for. We don't like some people. Not because there's something wrong with them, because there's something wrong with you. Mm. But you're not asking God, yeah. why? Why do they bother me? Why do they annoy me? God showed me one time, one woman that used to get on my last nerve hey. when she sang. And I mean, she annoyed the mess out of me. Mm. You know what the Holy Spirit told me? After a little while of fasting, mm. he said, you are jealous <laughs> of her. Mm. Because I wanted her voice. I don't want my voice, I wanted her voice. She had soul, I didn't have soul. I wanted her voice, I wanted soul. But guess what? When God told me that, guess who was surprised? <laughs> I didn't even know. Then when I said, Lord, how could you say that? He popped all my thoughts in my head and replayed them like a tape recorder. All the criticisms I thought about her in my mind. Everything I thought about her, how she annoyed me, how she's so dramatic, how she's such a show off, how she's such a this. How, and I was like, oh, I yeah. am jealous of her. And I apologized to God with tears running down my face. And I stood up in the church because I never wanted to suffer from that again. And I put the devil on front street and I asked her publicly to forgive me for being jealous of her. And I never criticized her to anyone else. So the saints didn't know. I came across looking holy and righteous. But my heart was foul. Well, that's what happens to us from life. We don't realize how little roots and seeds of bitterness start to spring up. And what does the Bible call it? They spring up and trouble you. We have to be very careful how we deal with life. We have to put every problem in God's hands. God will comfort you. He will heal you. He will remove the scabs. He will give you beauty for ashes. He will bless you. He will lift up your head. You know how the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir sings, he's the lifter up of my head? He is. Okay, listen. Isaiah 54. We're going to close with this. And this is what I want to tell you guys. God knows the pain you feel even when you're not aware it's there. You may be angry and you don't know your anger really comes from a deep-seated hurt and it's still hurting you. Something that happened way back then still hurting you. It pays to ask God, why do I get so angry about certain issues? Sing, O barren, that did not bear. Break forth in the singing and cry aloud, thank you, and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles, and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Those areas in your life where you're empty, those areas in your life where you're dry, God will bring new life. He will fill it. He will fill every hole in your soul. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. Just like I told you what God did for me. I could think about it, talk about it, remember it, but I don't feel it. Thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. For thy maker is thine husband. I'm going to stop there. Listen, we don't realize 
how much God wants to heal us. We don't realize how much we go through when God is saying, you don't have to carry that. Put it down. Well, I can't put it down. They, they hurt me and, and this is my pain and I earned this pain and, 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 and I got a right to be angry. I got a right to be hurt. And God is saying, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. You rather have that than to be at peace with me? You'd rather hurt than for me to heal you? Whew. This is what I love about God. Further on in Isaiah and then we're done. Verse 11. Oh, thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of agates and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy borders of pleasant stones, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness thou shalt be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, thou, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth the instrument for his works. I have created the waster to destroy. God created the devil, no matter how much he attacks you, God's in control. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. God bless you. I hope that's encouraging. I know we're tight on time. But uh, be encouraged, you guys. God is not leaving you in the middle of your pain and saying, deal with it. Deal with it. You made your bed, you laid it. He's not saying that. He's saying even if you made the mess, even if you created the error, if you call on me, I will still heal you. I will pull you out and you will learn from it and you will go from glory to glory from strength to strength because when you learn from it that will take you higher and when you go higher your vantage point is better you see more I can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all obstacles in my way Listen, you will be able to see. Once I was blind, now I see. I didn't know years ago I was needy. I didn't know years ago how self-conscious I was until the Lord pulled me out. And once he pulls you out and you look at yourself in retrospect, you say, wow, wow, look at the difference. God, you have truly worked a miracle. Because yes. you know God did it. You didn't do it. All you have to do is cooperate. You know, you need something to be fixed. So you pick something up and you say, here, would you fix this for me? Yes. Now, I can't fix it, but would you fix it for me? Mm -hmm. I, I have to have a pea brain. I don't know how to do that. But guess what? God does. He does. And he will do it every time. Sometimes you have to ask and keep on asking, seek and keep on seeking, knock and keep on knocking, never give up, never lose heart, never be faint hearted, don't throw in the towel, don't sit down on the ground with your legs parted, crying the blues, wallowing in your own self pity. Because God is there to lift you up. God is not a wimp. Amen. God is not a ninny. He's not on a lunch break. He is touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He's not indifferent like we are. Mm -hmm, look at her. Serves her right. Look what she's going through. Uh-huh. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. See, you wouldn't listen to me. Serve her right. God's not saying that. He's only hard on people who don't care what he has to say. But those of us who want him, 
There's always hope. I don't care how dire your situation. I don't care how dark and hopeless it looks. There's always hope. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Amen. Wait patiently on Him. Amen. Trust in Him. Acknowledge Him in all your ways and He will direct your path. Amen. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And He shall strengthen Thine heart, wait, I say, on the Lord. God bless you. Father, I ask you to bless this word. I ask you, Lord, to make it bear fruit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Pour your spirit out on us, Lord. We are your women of God. We need each other and we need you, Father. And we ask you to help us in the darkest hours. In Jesus' name, I pray. Help us. Heal us, strengthen us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen.